It is recommended to use only stabilized power supplies with pulse width modulation to power LEDs. What are the features of these power supplies? Obligatory circuit protection and electromagnetic interference suppression, smoothing of the incoming current filter, control device with a feedback circuit and overload protection, voltage converter with a pulse transformer, in output rectifier and filter. In general, all of these are inherent in ordinary pulsed power source. LED power supplies are available in two versions, for indoor and outdoor installation. They have a sealed housing that is protected from moisture. Each pulsed power supply is equipped with protection against overload and short circuit. This is a prerequisite for quality and reliable power source for LEDs. LEDs do not like even the slightest surge, so the protection should be triggered automatically and instantly. Power supplies are divided into two groups, DC and DC voltage power supplies. If the input voltage has an operating range from 150 to 250 volts and the output voltage is constant, such as 12 volts, such supply is called a DC voltage power supply. When the input and output voltages vary within a certain range and the output current is constant, for example 300 milliampers, the supply is a DC power supply. When you choose a power supply, you should consider full LED load for current consumption. That is, reserve power supply must be about one-third higher than the current returned on the loaded LED circuit. This is the main criterion for power supply endurance limit. Today, pulsed power supplies used for LED lighting are the best option to ensure flawless operation in any climatic conditions. It is either protected within the walls of the premises or has hermetic protection of its own housing. The supply is heated. To be more precise, its electronic components are heated, so do not try to wrap it up with something more. This will lead to premature failure of the power supply and possible burn of the tender LED illumination in case automatic production is not triggered. The range of power supplies is diverse. Most of them are of high quality, but you can still find some that structurally do not have pulse transformers and are made according to the transformless scheme in a simplified form. These have long formed a negative attitude. Precisely because of substandard performance, a very cheap option for a producer and a headache for the buyer. Well, for myself, I would choose a transformer supply, namely with a power transformer and reliable and powerful voltage regulator, a good current return and protection against surges. They are always consistent, reliable and durable.